Now, the dream of anyone with fetal egg is to always have exotic chicks when you hash. Now, look at my story. Yes, I was one of the desperate chicks of 2024 that was also trying to incubate eggs at home. You know, that kind of vibe when you are able to, you know, bring something to life by yourself. So, I was just want to just experiment on it with just using cardboard, styrofoam, and a light bulb. And I knew that this is hilarious, but I had to do it, you know, just to get that experience. And it can never ever go so wrong. And if it goes bad, we are covered. Despite the fact that I had many discouragements, which was it will not hash, you will get this, you will not get that. I always used to always say, let's try and see whether whatever we're gonna do is gonna work. So that's why I always say that I'm based on try and error. So we can never conclude until we try something new. Yes, and that's why I went ahead to just do what I was doing and I manufactured my homemade incubator that i was going to use to you know um, incubate the eggs the idea was to create a large pot inside the um, receptacle so that we are going to be putting water there so that we, uh, when the light bulb comes it's going to provide the room for humidity and then the other space there will be for the eggs where we are going to be putting them so it's going to be like an arrangement so that for easy turning and the rest and this hard it is going to be when it's going to be uh, the put in electricity and so i went ahead i put some wood shaving in a particular box so i was going to put the eggs when they come in here so that they are not going to be stressed you know because the eggs are going to be delivered from a far place so we're going to allow them to rest for just 24 hours before putting them direct into the incubator so i'm going to place the eggs right here on the cardboard box with wood shaving so it's going to rest and you know acclimatize with our weather before putting it in our own incubator this process can be neglected in some in some cases whereby the hatchery maybe the hatchery is close to your um your location or maybe you are you are the person that you know bred the eggs and all that so you can see that we're going to put the water in our um humidif uh, humidifying boxes so that when the light is on the water can maintain the right humidity for the eggs so that they'll be able to develop well inside and i had just five eggs so i was not going to go for a large number because this is a thing that we have not tried before and trying it for the first time you shouldn't go for a large number because you are doing a kind of experiment on trial and error so i spent totally six point two five dollars to get everything inside here and i was hopeful that i would profit at the end of the day and not make a loss so at day seven at day seven i candled the first set of the eggs and candling of the eggs is a process whereby you shine a kind of bright light towards the egg so that you can you know look at what was inside but to my surprise i didn't see anything inside my eggs it was kind of uh, making me scared that the eggs were unfettered about the fertility of the egg is not something that i can actually determine at day nine i don't really know how and why and how i don't really understand the way that this egg kind of cracked so i was going to you know candle it to know why uh, whether it's still alive because i didn't know how this particular one got cracked and it had what we call the ring of death now the ring of death is a kind of ring that you see inside the egg that shows that the egg kind of developed and died during the process so you can see that the um the the egg got uh, uh, was uh, developing and it died and when i opened it i kind of see um something like uh, an omelet an omelet it, i was not uh, you know uh scared that my egg was cooking because that one had the kind of crack so maybe excessive heat was entering inside and so later i had to remove these ones for the fear of them being cooked so 21 days passed and 26 days passed so i was desperate so i had to open these eggs to know what was going inside them because it has been a very long time and it has passed the normal time where the normal chicken was supposed to you know hatch so i was like desperate let's check what is inside because i don't see uh, chicken eggs stays more than 21 days inside an incubator and it's not showing any sign of hatching and where we can do we don't even see any kind of thing maybe this egg was there uh, maybe unfertilized maybe the temperature was bad or do we have problem with our humidity all these questions i didn't know but i was uh, very very scared of losing my money because i had put a lot of money inside this and forget those prices they are seeing that they are just you know carry over so you can see me they are using a compass to be very very careful so that i will be able to open the egg thinking that maybe i will see a kind of chick coming out from there <laughs> but you won't believe what happened next the eggs are inside there we are not even 
getting close to being hatched or something they were getting cooked now there are only two factors that can cause our egg to be cooked and one of them is being overheated now the bulb that we are, we are using for this experiment was just a 25 watt bulb and uh, the heat was controlled by my dimmer and other uh, measures that i took to you know maintain the right temperature then the second one was fertility of the egg if these eggs were fertile and the temperature was actually right the eggs would have probably hatched at the right so time i checked the first egg the first egg was not having anything close to hatching i checked the second egg still and it was not also having any sign or any progress at all so i just <laughs> I concluded that all the eggs were bad and so I had to get rid of them but speaking of getting rid of this kind of eggs it's going to be a big loss because I'm not into training of any kind of livestock I'm not into rearing of chicken and this would be a better delicacy for those who are into catfish rearing so I the only thing I had was just a garden and I was growing sweet potato so I was going to transfer this thing to the sweet potato side because these are root crops and they will require much kind of protein so that they will be able to maximize the two that they will produce but in all this experiment was a wonderful one the experiment was good because i was you know engaged and always determined to do everything that i always do and i always had to turn the egg four times a day and it was also fun i know that i didn't get the exotic chicks that i wanted but nevertheless it's never too late to always try again so i would recommend brain c incubator if you want to do this again so that you get the right unexpected results